Hello everyone, it's Julia. I know you can't see my face, but I'm just posting this because um, some of you know Michelle's going away uh, on a trip and I thought I would uh, recommend a few supplies that's handy, especially if you're not uh, packing much and you don't want to take a bunch of paint, you just want to do drawing and stuff. And so I'm going to just dive into it real quick. Um, I always recommend a uh, mixed media sketchbook. So this one, you can kind of see it's a Stillman and Burn. These are my favorite, but you can use the um, B Paper Nature Journal, uh, Nature Pad, or even the Super Deluxe. But anyway, that's not really what I was gonna get into. You'll have to excuse me, this is upside down so you can get as much light as possible. But some of the pens I recommend, um, you don't have to take that much, but um, I like to have a pen that won't bleed with water. So the microns are really good for that. There's others too, but this one's sort of tried and true. So there's microns. And then I also great to have a pen that is not waterproof. So you could use one of those old fashioned flare pens or even, I don't know, fancy finito pen. Pretty, most pens are not gonna be waterproof. Sharpies are obviously, but um, the reason I like well, I, I'll go into why I like them in a minute. So I have a non-waterproof and a waterproof pen. These are also non-waterproof. Most pens will be. I also like a pen that's gray. Now this is kind of my own thing. Sorry, these are dirty. I've used them a lot. These gray pens, the Stabilo 88s, not to be confused with, I have an example over here, maybe I don't. Oh, not to be confused with the Stabilo 68s right here. Um, these have a yellow barrel. So these gray pens I really like um, because I just, I really like to draw in gray. You know, like if I'm drawing really quickly, you know, maybe I don't have a lot of time. I just wanna get a sketch down. You can get these lovely light lines and then later on you can come in and you can get even lighter pens. Come in with one of your microns um, and then choose the lines that you know you really want, or not, or just leave it gray, you know? But it gives this lovely, dynamic, sketchy kind of look. And you might be asking, well, why don't I just use pencil for that? Well, because pencil, you certainly can, but it will transfer to the next page um, over time. And so eventually, you won't have any drawings left. You'll just have sort of sh ghosts of drawings that you did. So if this is something you think you want to keep, and I do recommend you do that, I would use a gray pen instead of a pencil. But if you are going to use a pencil, um, I recommend, most pencils are fine, but actually these are kind of fun, or even a mechanical pencil. The reason I like these, these are fully graphite. You can sharpen them with sandpaper. So if you're out and about, you don't have a sharpener, you got your sandpaper, you can just give them a, a quick point. And so, you know, they're just very, they're just a pencil, no biggie, okay? Now, another thing I like to have with a regular pencil is a water-soluble pencil. So, I don't have a regular gray one here, but I have some ones in other colors. So, this is a Caran d'Ache Technolo. These come in, this is like a slightly blue tone. Let's see if you're seeing what I'm seeing, okay. So, like, if I wanted to, say, do a sketch, you're just out and about. It just looks like a regular pencil. Maybe there's mountains back here. I don't know. Maybe there's some trees in the front. You're just out and about. You want to get a few sketches. Maybe the water come here. Maybe this is the edge of an island or something. I don't know. So then when you come back, or you can do it in the field. Maybe you're gonna come in and have a, a nice glass of wine and sienna. And you wanna just, and maybe you're by yourself, maybe with your friends. Maybe you're just, it's in the evening and you're just kind of reflecting on your day. You can come in with a brush and water. And for that, I like to use my water brush. Love these things. You can, it holds water in them. Um, you just oh, take this off and fill it up. They do not leak. This is a, I think it's Pentel who makes this one. There's a few you can buy. But if you check it out and give it a little squeeze, um, you can just turn these 
into little watercolor things. Get a little bit of water. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. Might not have chosen the best subject for it, but and maybe there's a little pale mountain back here. Maybe way far, way far away, I've got a line of even paler ones. So you see, it's got a slight tone to it. Um, so you can use it for that. Also for your non-waterproof pens. Say I wanted to do a tree. You're out there drawing a lovely tree. Make it all sketchy. Here's some foliage. When you work like this, it's important to get ink on the paper, which seems obvious, but don't just do outlines of things because there won't be any ink to pick up with the water. So you could come in with your water brush, not too much water, and just turn it into a little, it's so fun. Possibilities are great to be more a little more creative, a little more interesting in your drawings. Um, and then when they dry, you can even come in and add more detail. So, so this is regular graphite. It doesn't really move. Of course, this has got a little bit of, of color on it. Um, but basically, that's kind of what I like to do. Now, say I bring in a pen that does have that does bleed. Like I said, most pens do. You can just come in again with a little bit of, I don't want that much. I recommend a, uh, having a paper towel nearby. You can also blot, blot out where the, um, where the lights are if you like. Or you could even get yourself a white pen as well. Here's a white one. This Uniball Signo, I really like. When everything's dry, you can actually come in with some white. So this way you only have to have just these kinds of things. You don't have to have a whole um, kit. If you do want a, a thing to hold them in, I recommend these, um, these Global Art. Now you can get a single one, so you don't have to have two sets, but um, I get two sets sides so I can have the kind of a water soluble side and then like a non water soluble side um, for whatever I like. But anyway, um, so those pencils like this one here, there's a green version too. It doesn't look green when you oh, can't see that when you put it down. But when I get my, I'm going to use a regular brush this time. Um, it's kind of got a green tinge to it. You can kind of see that. It's just fun, and it's fun to play with it, get some stuff in there. Um, one other thing for your kit um, is a, an eraser that's in a stick form. This is a super small one by Tombow called Mono, but you can get some from Pentel. You can just get them from Staples. You don't have to get anything this fancy. This is just super skinny, and it's it's a retractable one, just like, a, just like something from... Uh, uh, like a mechanical pencil or something. So anyway, I recommend those. Again, water brush, two kinds of pens, a waterproof one, a water soluble one, which again is most pens. Um, I love a gray one. It's not necessary, but I like to use them. Okay, that's it. Have fun, Michelle. Bon voyage. Arrivederci.